In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your puzzle pieces in Inventor. We're going to make this puzzle piece here, and I'm going to use the additive uh, instead of the subtractive in this particular video. I'll do a second video with the subtractive method. So this is our what we call additive uh, example. Okay, so first thing you need to do is click on your file down here at the bottom go to documents or you could have went to your H drive over here on the left and I want you to make a new folder I want you to call that folder puzzle cube if you have not already made one for this particular project okay. go ahead and click enter now you're ready to open inventor I have several of these on the desktop the one you want is Autodesk inventor professional Each time it opens, it's going to open to a screen like this. Do you want to do a new, an, you want to open an existing or start a project? With these projects, uh, it saves it to the C drive and so we're actually never going to use this particular item here. Right, so we're going to go to new and click on it. Now we've got different templates. We can use English, which is in inches, metric, which is in millimeters, or the mold design, which is something different, and we'll show you that another time. So click on English, because we want it in inches, and then click on standard IPT. And in the videos you just watched, it talked about the different types. Uh, the standard IPT is basically whenever you're making parts, that you can then assemble together in the standard IAM. And then here, drawing sheets, so that uh, all of those multi-view sketches that you've been working on, uh, it's going to do that for you. And then there's the IPN, which is considered a presentation model, which is what we do as an exploded view to show how it goes together. So first we need to start with the parts, each of those pieces for our puzzle cube. So click on it. Okay, so we need to first make a sketch before we can um, extrude it or uh, make it basically three-dimensional. So click on create a 2D sketch. And Usually the first thing you do is always going to be the one on the left. Right? It's kind of like worked that way. So um, every time like you do any of these, the most important one or the one that you use the most tends to be the one on the farthest left. But okay, so on our 3D model, we're going to create a 2D sketch. And we have planes that come up. Right? I usually like to pick this particular plane. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason why, I guess. Um, I just think that it looks better to me. So I picked this plane right here, so I'm going to click on it. Now it's ready for me to sketch. Okay, so let me show you the other one, what it looks like. This is what we're going to sketch. All right, my first cube looks like this. So I need to draw a square. So right here on the rectangle, I'm going to click on it. I left click once, and then I'm going to drag it down. Notice in each of the corners, uh, or not each of the corners, but each side has a dimension. The one in blue is the one that it's waiting for me to type something in. So they are two blocks. This particular uh, square that I'm wanting to draw is two blocks wide and two blocks long so or length and width or length and height okay uh, so I'm going to type 1.5 because 0.75 plus 0.75 is 1.5 and then I'm going to hit the tab button All right so now this one is in blue it's right over here so I am going to now type in 1.5 on it as well, and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so now I can't see it very well. So what you and I, 
right now like pause this video like after I explain this to you and play with this but you've got basically three buttons on your mouse you've got the left button the right button and then you have the scroll the little knob on it and it can also be used as a button so you can push that little part down I push it down and I can grab it and I can move this All right, so like I said pause it and kind of play with that for a minute okay now also that little scroll button uh, after you release it push it forward and then pull it back towards you and notice that it can zoom in and out right. so now I want to center it I'll push that little scroll button down and I can move it around okay so say I realize that this 1.5 was wrong right I can either undo which makes it go away and start over and put it back on or I can double click on it and I can change that distance All right, so once it is the size that you want it to be then you're going to hit finish All right, again I'm going to make it to where I can see it uh, pick it up and kind of move it to where I like it All right, so now I need to extrude this I need to make it three dimensional so I'm going to click extrude and this is only one block deep so I'm going to change this to 0.75 and click OK before I click OK I can show you that this is going towards me if I wanted it to go the other direction I could click on this button okay. or if I wanted it to go in between or have different distances for this particular project you're mostly going to be using this first button I right, click OK All right so now I need to draw this piece right here on All right, I need to add it to this front plane so how I do that is I just go up here and I need to create a 2d sketch again I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click the plane I want it on so I could use any of these if I needed it on the back I could rotate my cube I could rotate it in however way okay. now I'm going to click on the plane that I want it on and I need to draw another rectangle here or just two lines since I already have lines on the left and on the bottom so I can click on line I'm just going to draw these notice I could put in my dimensions notice how it's highlighted blue or I can just draw it so that way I can show you how to dimension it afterwards so I'm going to just click and then notice it continues on so actually let me show you that again I hit escape to get that off I'm going to undo the line so I can talk through it again so I click on the line once I get onto this yellow line notice how it gets this green dot that is my center point that green dot is my center point so by clicking on it I know it's at 0.75 All right, but I get on the, the yellow line and I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it to the right I want it to be a straight line and you'll kind of fill it lock into place and you can see the dotted line there it kind of locks into place and I'm just going to go over I know it needs to be 0.75 but I kind of want to show you how to dimension but notice right there at that center point I get a dotted line again All right so I'm going to left click to finish it the only reason why I did that is I want to show you how to dimension so now I go down as the line is still the line tool is still working until I get right here to the yellow notice at the bottom I have a perpendicular sign I know that I've hit that line and I'm going to left click again now I'm done with the line tool so I can either right click and say 
cancel, escape, or I can hit the escape button, which is what I usually do because it seems to be easier for me. Now I want to dimension this because, well, I know that this one is not the right dimension. I click on dimension, click on my line. Notice after I left click on this line, I pulled it up. I left click again and it brings up my dimensioning. And I type in 0.75, enter. Okay. My dimension is still selected because I haven't clicked escape. So I'm going to make sure that this one is also 0.75. So I'm going to left click on the line. So I'm going to move it to the right. Left click where I want to dimension. And this one I had already put it on the center point. So it's telling me that it's being over constrained. So I'm going to say, okay, I know, and I'm going to click accept. And it tells me I can't change this because it does have a constraint already on it. Okay, so I click finish sketch. Now I'm ready to extrude this box. So I click extrude. I'm going to select the square. And I'm going to tell it that I want it 1.5. Sometimes, whenever you click Extrude, the box will look like this. If that happens, just click on the little arrow, and it'll come down. You can change it. Or, sometimes, too, you might just want to change it in here, because this will also be uh, on the object itself. Okay, so it looks good. And I can either hit OK here or OK up here. They both work the same. All right, so now I need to color this. I'm going to go up here where it says default. I'm going to left click on it. And I want this to be blue. So I'm going to scroll up to the blue. I click on it and it's going to color it blue. Now I'm ready to save this. So I click on the eye up at the top go to Save As. I'm going to go in and find my Puzzle Cube file that I created earlier, which I did not create it whenever I was showing you because I already have a Puzzle Cube folder. But um, click on it and then name this part blue. Make sure that you name each of your pieces the color that you colored them in your engineering notebook. All right, so the next video I'm going to show you, I'm going to do what's called a subtractive method. We're going to make the same piece, but in a different way.